Here we are with a quick software tour of the ZTE Tourist. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here and try and show you what we get on the device here. So here we go. So I've got no SIM card inserted in this at the moment, but I am connected to Wi-Fi. So let's just show you what you get. So on the ZTE Tourist, you do get a very vanilla Android experience. There's no customization whatsoever going on here, which is a good and a bad thing. So for the type of audience that may be uh, picking up this device because it's budget, it's good because you don't get confused with all the different interfaces that you may get on some other devices, but then you do lack some of the value added features you get on the more expensive smartphones. Now you can still press and hold your home key to see your running applications. Uh, you've got your different customizable screens here which you can customize by pressing the menu button here and we can use the things this uh, trackpad to move around and select things you can't scroll on it like so you actually have to use the physical keys uh, but the performance is okay is unreasonable you get that tactile feedback uh, which is good now of course you've got the touch screen as well that's beneficial so let's just roll down into the settings here just to confirm some things for you so you can see it's a ZTE Tourist, it's running Android 2.3.5 here. And then let's have a quick look at the memory on the device. So you get a two gig card uh, included in the package which reads at 1.84 gig and actually it's a completely uh, blank card so you've got all of that available. And then you've got 146 megabytes of memory available on the phone. That's not a huge amount of memory, but um, you know it's enough for, for most people. So let's just take a look. You access your applications through clicking that little icon there. And you can scroll through on screen or click through. The different things so we can go into your camera application now you can see with a slower processor so it does take a little bit longer to load uh, but you can change brightness settings here we can change the mode from camera to video camera we've got some exposure settings, got GPS location, got white balance, and we've got zoom as well. So actually that's quite a comprehensive set of features for uh, a budget uh, handset. So it's quite pleasing to see that. Now because this has got the QWERTY keyboard, of course we can uh, do lots of things with the keyboard. Um, now if you were uh, had contacts saved in here, you could start typing away and uh, it will start auto refining some of your contacts uh, but let's just go into the messaging application to show you the keyboard so let's just create a new message so here Okay, so not ideal there, a few uh, typos, but still getting used to the keyboard. This is the first real hands-on I've had with it. But what you probably heard throughout there was the tactile feedback on the keys, which uh, is quite good. That clicking sound reconfirms um, that the keys have been pressed. They are raised, and you can probably see that there like so, which is quite nice. You've got the numbers on here as well, so you can use this as a numeric pad uh, and what have you. Come out of your applications like so. Uh, so there's the phone the dialer here, so you can start typing in numbers through the keypad. And then uh, you can of course call, we can't uh, call here because we've got no SIM card uh, inserted. Let's also just take a quick look at the web browser. 
So I can type in here. Connecting over Wi-Fi here, so uh, we should get reasonably good speeds. So there we go, there's the page uh, rendering there. This is the Clove mobile site. Touchscreen isn't perhaps as responsive as you would like, but that's actually good and bad, because on a device like this, um, because you've got the physical QWERTY keyboard, you probably don't want the touchscreen to be quite so sensitive, because you might be an individual who it's going to treat the device a little bit rougher and you don't want accidental screen touch. So you have to put a little bit more pressure on the screen. It's just taken a bit of getting used to, especially if you're used to touch screen um, devices. So it's not to say that it doesn't actually work or anything, it's just getting used to um, that a little bit more resistive um, screen. So the device is fixed in terms of its orientation. You wouldn't really want to rotate it. Um, but uh, is fixed. There might be a setting to change that, but very few people would want to do that. Um, so my initial impressions of this are actually very good for such a budget handset coming in at less than £150, inclusive of VAT. Um, you can't go really too far wrong if you're not bothered about brand and uh, having the top spec features. Actual sort of form factor and what have you is very good. So that is the ZTE Tourist available from clove.co.uk.